I had too many fish out the shower, so we, did, we really did get a little wet, but we didn't wash it, wash it. We're gonna do all that um, on camera. I wanna show you guys the process. Then once we wash it, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna set up the cameras, and we're going to set up an angle on the mirror. See, and you can see how, look at the multiple angles, how you can set it up. I see the side of your, your jaw, so your jawline, and it's kind of shape it up. And before we wash the beard, we're actually going to use our bevel products to soften the hairs, soften the skin, so we can set everything in. Then we'll wash the beard with the products from uh, G for Men. Then once we use that, <clears throat> we, we use all that, we'll get the beard shiny, the beard to be complete. We'll see the line, we'll do some of the Camera angle, and we're gonna go back to uh, the 
the mirror. I'm gonna wash the beard, clean it up. We're also gonna get the trimmers real quick. And then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna use the trimmers, use the mirrors to see the back of the head right here and see all this. And then turn around and see all this and use the trimmers just to clean it up but I haven't shaved my head. But we're gonna soften up with the cream, or just with the beard shaving cream, get the hair all valuable, soft, come back and get it, get it smooth, and we're good to go. We back people. So I did some real quick, did some touch-ups. I did freehand this in. And if you look, look at that. Come on, like I said, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Never go straight in with the blade, always do it at the angle, period. For the most part, we're done with this. Like I said, this is dry up a little bit. Keep it. 
Boom. If I can do this. All of it gone. Night day, right? I can tell you how I feel about you night and day. You know what I'm saying? Behind the ears. Little tufts of hair. Little patches. That's the worst thing when you shave your head. You leave a little patch. It's the worst. Because you don't know it. You walk around thinking. Mm, 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 mm. And people look like. Back in with the trimmers, clean all the excess hair out. Sit here in the sink, we're not gonna let it go down the drain. The tissue, wet the tissue up, scoop it all up, put the trash on, push down the toilet. Still voicing from the shave. I'm gonna start with one pump. Working in your hand first. Then put in your beard. There we go. Because uh, I find myself using two different two <laughs> two pumps. Little pump. <laughs> Pretty good lather. 
If you need to use a second pump, do so. If you know how thick your beard is, make sure you get a good lather. Wash is washed out. Remember what you do. After you wash it, do not rub dry it. Pack dry. We still want to leave this beard damp. Seven drops on the skin. So, then beard one, two, three, This is not the oil, well, it's an oil based product, but it's, it's not the oil that locks in the moisture. That's what your serum is for. You do this now. Every now and again, like every other day, I'll add in some of this Jamaican black castor butter. It's good with the growth. And I noticed when using that product, it tends to make my beard kind of. We love it as it grows. I'm gonna do with this video. I guess I do love stuff in my mustache. This is weird to me. You got your beard's glistening, but your mustache will dry. Capital A, capital F. Hey, okay, all right. Your beard. Good look. 
Now we have Super Dap Beer Term. Now, this could be used the other way around. You could lock in your moisture and put this the, uh, elixir on your skin. But I do it this way. I feel like it's a better layering process. Once you get up on your sideburns, your sideburns looking crusty. Your beard look moist and glistening. And then we got the rum punch beer bone. This is no I'm sorry, it is what it is. Then the super damp, then the uh, the beard balm, and I still take the bio biotin pills. I got like 10, 15 left. I got like a week's supply. So what I do is when I'm done, just kind of dab the excess off of your, your jaw, on your neck, on your chin. checking out all three parts of this video um, it's a lot of work I want to give you when you got some serious content so you some versatility in this channel for those who don't know I have done free hand before I'll put that video on the card again just so you can see that you can free hand your beard if you so choose to do it as a beautiful tool even though it's a little bit easier to tool to uh, make sure you don't push your line down like crazy I don't feel like I pushed my line down at all. I took the time for the most part. Still nick myself right here and I actually have like a little nick right here. But it's just uh, you know, a little bit of rust. A little bit of patience, a lot of practice, and you'll get it cracking. You know what I'm saying? Peace and blessings.